scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne Secrets. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, located in the Champagne City, baby. Come on in and enjoy a glass with me, the Empress, for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. Over here we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink with chaos, huh? So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. If you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, then grab your glass of non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. Tell your friends about us and hit that like and subscribe button and help your girl blow up. We are up to 13 subscribers and we want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you. We can't do it without you, baby. So salute to all of you, my confidants. Now, I'm not going to give my disclaimer on today because I'm going to have to go there with this one. <laughs> but today, I'm sipping on my fave Moet and Chandon Nectar Imperial Rosé France Sparkling Wine. <laughs> you see it. If you're a champagne connoisseur, let me know what I should try next. <laughs> now, let's talk baddies finale. Let me recap this section. And then we're going to really talk about it, right? So the story opens up with a continuation of the fight between Sapphire and Mariah. Sapphire tried to throw Mariah in the water. <laughs> and Mariah pulls her in too. They get pulled out the water and Suki and Sapphire are still talking. Sapphire says she wasn't trying to fight Mariah, but Mariah took off her purse. Then Suki tries to get in the mix and she's up in Mariah's face and she gets popped. So now they both want to fight Mariah, but her face is bleeding and, and security is keeping them separated. Mariah's saying, you snuck me. And she said, where was everybody else at? They're following behind her, still taunting her. Sapphire says, I had to remind you you thought because I was into it with my friend, you could say what you wanted to, basically. Biggie says she didn't jump in because it wasn't her fight. If Mariah would have been getting jumped, then she would have jumped in. Mariah is saying, y'all want a moment. All right now, let me stop and run it back because I'm getting a little pissed recapping it. So here's my problem. Suki mad at something that Mariah said, but there's no proof. Y'all don't remember this scene from Law Abiding Citizen, the movie? You know that it's not what you know, Clyde. It's what you can prove in court. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. Everything else is hearsay. Every fight. Every bit of drama. Here's... Why the hell do y'all have cameras? If you're not going to show the footage to prove all of this trash-ish that's going on. I heard Mariah say... That she said, y'all don't pay me enough to fight her. To me, that means someone asked her to fight Suki. And she replied, y'all not paying me enough for that. And if that's not the case, I'm sorry, if that is the case, then I don't blame her. I said it before and I'll say it again. They should have had it written in those contracts that you paying me an extra five triple zero every time I have to swing. And if somebody swing on me, you know I have to double it. That's all I'm saying. And if it's not the case, then show the camera footage to prove it. Show the camera footage. Otherwise, why do y'all have cameras? Now I don't blame her for saying that. And if it was more, then why are y'all not showing it? Instead of showing up this souped up ish, y'all trying to make real drama. Y'all taunted this girl. 
Suki, you realize you hadn't been there for most of the show. And this was your last moment to have a moment, Smiley. And you took that moment on Mariah. Now Roly, who showed your whole tussy pat to the whole world. Not E.T., who threw water on you and poured soda on your wig. And not your trifling ass friend, who don't give a damn about anything but what you can provide for her, huh? If we gonna talk, then let's talk. Scoot up for a second. And then, then to add insult to damn injury, you so damn dehydrated for attention, you had to fight this girl with a ring on, Sapphire. So you had to hit her with a damn ring on? You couldn't fight her head up? You sorry, sis. You sorry and you weak and you trifling. Suffering damn succotash, but you tough though, huh? A real fighter don't need a prop, baby. They are the prop. And after you see this girl eye leaking, now you want to get in her face? That's an itch move with a bee, Suki. To wait until someone has entangled with someone else to now you want to fight. And before I get to you, let me go back to this trollop ass friend of yours. Yes, Mariah took off her damn purse. You thought she was going to hold on to her purse not knowing what you was about to do? What world do y'all live on? My bad. This is the damn delusional Zeus Island. Yo ass wouldn't fight E.T. or Roly because you probably over there licking lollipops with them too while Suki be gone. So we gonna talk about it then. Let's talk. Scoot up for a second. So you didn't want to turn on your bed buddies, but you buck up to Mariah who you thought was a pushover. Now back to you, Coochie Suki. You got popped and you needed to. At the point when you let me fight your friend because she's fighting your battle and now you want to try to come and fight your own? Yeah, now it's up and stuck, sis. She didn't run. The security escorted her away because she was bleeding, dumb, dumb ditty. And y'all followed her. Taunting and taunting and taunting and taunting. At that point, fuck these damn cameras. I'm finna give you what you want. You wanna rock itch with a B, then let's roll. Two on one? Yeah, I love those odds stacked against me. Suki, you are the star outside of all this Zeus ish. You have real motion and you allowed yourself to be dummied down for $50 thousand dollars allegedly they shouldn't have been able to get you to raise your voice for fifty thousand they shouldn't have been able to get you to shake your ass for fifty thousand i am disgruntled and disgusted at you two ditzy dingbat broads for allowing zeus to put you in a trick bag like this that fast you went from a queen to a peasant that damn fast I usually don't give content like this, but it had me half past hot and a quarter to boiling to see women, young black women, diluting themselves for a damn dollar. This scene show how really pressed y'all are about Mariah. Y'all acting like she fucked one of y'all niggers and he liked it or something. Y'all acting like she tasted the kitty and told the world it was trash or something. Suki, you acting like you falling off and Mariah held the key to you getting back on. You can't be the bully and the bully advocate. You can't. You can't cry wolf and be the wolf all in one. All the girls talk ish. Every damn last one of them. Except to seeky and tatted sky. All the girls do. But you want to hold hers against her? Why? Is this why you were an advocate for Smiley? Because y'all are one in the same. Because you tried it with Biggie. Didn't work. Tried it with Anna. Didn't work. Tried it with T, and she said, fuck y'all, I'm out. You dare not try it with Sky, and you for damn sure wasn't going to try it with Siki. So you picked the last person left y'all can make a moment with. Y'all set this girl up for this. Of every scene, everybody around, and now, all of a sudden, nobody is there. Nobody. This is why I call Natalie the trap queen. Because she sets these girls up to be trapped and she goes on about her business. If we gonna talk about it, let's talk. Scoot up for a second. Nah, this shit ain't cool. I'm sorry, YouTube. This ish ain't cool. 
wasn't cool and will never be cool. Y'all setting these girls up to be all bloody, hair pulled out, looking a mess, Suki talking about her tussy pad every five minutes and slapping it. This is ain't good TV. It's trifling. I said what I mother freaking said. This isn't bad itch with a B behavior. This was thirsty and dehydrated. Rather you like Mariah or not, this was sad. If that ring would have hit her in her eye and put her eye out, then what, huh? Y'all thought this made y'all look like baddies? It don't. It doesn't. It do not. Y'all pick and choose who beef you want to pursue. If you stand on business, you stand on it with everybody. Not just who you think you can be. And I know people will say, if somebody talking about you, you would be ready to fight too. Nah, baby, I'm grown. I'm the type of grown that if it's not important enough for you to bring to me, it's not important enough for me to address with you. Real bad girlish. I'm the type of grown that if I said it about you, I've already said it to you. And there's nothing I say that I can't repeat. <laughs> yeah, real bad girlish. Let me hurry up and finish this episode so I can get back to my zen and peace. Because this episode sent me. Mariah says she feels the setup, so she's trying to leave because she knows if she starts scrapping with one, the others are going to try to jump in. That's why she called y'all asses pinky in the brain. Y'all tried her because she wasn't black. I mean, if we're going to talk about it, then let's talk. Scoot up. Because any of the other black girls on this show would have went blood for blood, and y'all know it. You wouldn't have did that with E.T., as much as I don't care for her personality on this show, y'all know that girl wouldn't have stopped until she once saw one of y'all bleed like her. Y'all know it. Y'all wouldn't have pulled that with Roly. You already see how Tzatziki rolled. And if you really knew Skye, she wasn't going either. Camila might have been the only one that would have somewhat gave you a pass because she just had a baby. But none of them would have went. In my opinion... The fact y'all had to come two on one, won or lost, bleeding or not, Mariah wins, period. The fact y'all had to devote a whole two episodes to y'all picking on her, Mariah wins. With her eye bleeding, she still stood toe to toe with y'all. Let's talk about it. Low key. They all mad that Mariah got on this show without having to do anything but walk in and get a ticket. Let them bubbles fizz, because that's the real champagne secret. I don't have favorites when it comes to right or wrong, real or fake, but y'all call that disloyal. I'm done with this scene and these ditzy, delusional bras. So the girls from House B come on the Sprinter and Mariah is telling them what happened. Camila is checking on her, and Mariah is reenacting what happened. Natalie comes on the bus and peep what she says, Mariah, because this is supposed to be your friend. She didn't say she's concerned. She said her dad is really concerned. But this is your friend? This is your friend? Y'all need to check the temperature gauge on y'all friendships. But what bothers me the most is she acting like she didn't set this all up for this girl to be in this position. This girl is the EP and it's her show. Not a scene happens that she doesn't know about and that she doesn't agree to, huh? Natalie's dad is checking on Mariah because he didn't like what he saw. And no, I don't blame Vicky for not jumping in because nobody assisted her when she was the target. So I get it. Dad was telling them he's not with it because it was two big girls against one. And I agree, but she didn't back down. Like it or not, she stood her ground. They're back at the house, and Mariah is giving the girls a play-by-play outside. And she says she's feeling like, if you're the one feel away, you make the first move. Anna says it's clearly stuff happening in House A that House B didn't know about. And she's saying that she heard that Mariah was plotting on Suki. First of all, I have a right to feel away if you went hard to help me and for no reason at all you turn on me. Suki didn't get her chain back anyway. She was a part of it, but it was sapphire. 
Pinky got the chain back. Then you start saying, I need to go home because I didn't get my own. When the girl clearly said before all of it even happened, I'm talking to this girl today and getting my sister chain back. Now that was said on camera. And now all of a sudden, she's harassing me. How? When? Where? Not on camera. And that's my problem. Mariah says, no, they were plotting on me. And I agree. They had to create a situation for Sapphire to redeem herself. And they knew her trying to do it with Roly or E.T. wasn't going to work because they ride together. So they chose Mariah. Just weak. Sapphire, this made you look weaker than the E.T. situation. You didn't gain any Mario coins for this. Anna says she really messes with Mariah and feels she can be more comfortable over there with them. Siki asks her if she's ready to move into the bad itch with a bee house. And Mariah says, take me, <laughs> and falls on their laps. I think this is where Mariah belonged the whole time. Check out this video of the island for a second while I take a sip and simmer down a bit. <laughs> Ain't this beautiful? And they fighting instead of enjoying this child. So we flashed the house A on the bus and Suki because they love her now, now that they have a new scapegoat. These the same girls who was flashing your coochie all over the world. The same girls who said they all sick of you and need you to go home. These the same girls who was ready to fight you and didn't care, and none of them defended you, but you keying and teeing with them, no, huh? E.T. asked what's T, cause she heard it was T. Suki said she found out Mariah was telling everybody she wanna fight her. How the hell is she saying she wanna fight her when she's saying they not paying her enough to fight her? This is the remedial-ish I'm talking about. We weren't this dumb when we were watching Reading Rainbow. When we were talking about butterflies in the sky and take a look at Cinna Book. We, when we were talking about hooked on phonics works for me, we wasn't this damn delusional. If I tell you they're not paying me enough to fight, it means I don't want to fight, dumb, dumb, diddy, damn. Then Sugi says, Sapphire says, oh look, stanky. And Sapphire says, but at that point we was just playing. Y'all wasn't no damn playing. Y'all were provoking. There's a difference between provoking and playing. You reeled Mariah in and she fell for it. And that's where I fought Mariah. Because you didn't have to fall for the okie doke. You didn't have to fall for the bait and switch. They baited you and switched the target and you fell for it. I have walked away from a lot of stuff, but it wasn't for my benefit. It was for theirs. Then Suki says, she tells Mariah, everybody tussy has stank at one point in their life. That's womanhood. Girl, you lying now. That's not what you said. You said, but it do, it do stink. Biggie said, it do, it's crazy. And you said, mine stank too, but it's still gonna get eight. That's what you said, sis. E.T. over there looking like, wait a minute. And what bothers me is not one of them girls said, speak for yourself. Just cause your kitty purring backwards and down to six lives don't mean mine do too. She says, she told her, I'm going to need you to stop harassing me. And none of them said, well, it sounds like y'all were harassing her. But that would be too much like right, though. And we definitely can't expect nothing right to come out of house A. Roly says she wants to spend at least one day peaceful, one love. And she hoped they don't start fighting. Natalie then asked the girls what they think the girls on the new season need to know. And here goes the black blonde. Stand on business. Take accountability. Mind your business. And if you can't back it up, shut up. None of which you did. So girl gone. You only back it up in situations you think you can win. You saw Smiley wasn't really going to fight you back. So you kept attacking her. You ignored completely Rolly and uh, E.T. You let the whole bus talk about your friend in your face and you did and said nothing. Girl gone. What I want you to do is I want you to go to hell. Find a flaming pitchfork. 
sit on it and twitch. Maybe it will burn some sense into your dehydrated ass. E.T. then says, stop being thirsty for camera time, child. That's what you did all season until your legs said not so. I need you to go and join Sapphire. Suki then says, stand on your morals and principles. Sweetie, you don't even have none. After your display, you can't talk either. Your morals are between your legs because that's all you talk about. Then she says, always stand up for yourself and others. It's okay, child, like you did in this episode, right? Then they do this pass the bottle game where they drink and pass the bottle. I, I'm over them. Next. So House A pulls up to Bob Marley's house in Kingston. House B pulls up at, as well and they're walking around. They bouncing their ass on the bed. <laughs> you, you can't take some of us nowhere. Just no cool or decorum. Suki says she lived around the corner from Bob Marley's house so she's happy to be there. Sky says, pinch me, because she's enjoying being in Bob Marley's house. Natalie says they're going to have a nice toast at Bob Marley's house. And anytime there's a mention of a toast or talk, you already know it's about to be some bullish. Set up queen about to strike again. So they're going outside to talk. Sky is embodying the spirit of Bob Marley himself <laughs> because she says she can feel the energy. She says she feels the positive vibes. Mariah says she wants to cough on some weed. She's still clearly upset, as she should be. Tasiki looking like a Jamaican Asian doll, <laughs> and they're talking about getting ready to go out. And this is how you know there's going to be trash, right? House B walks out first. They're outside talking. And then here comes House A. Natalie done probably told Suki, this is your last chance to leave your mark. So she comes out and she says she feels like it would be a special treat for both houses to be together and toast at Bob Marley's house. So you have... Uh, Natalie must have gotten a tan because baby, she got colored. <laughs> it's E.T.'s birthday, so they're cheering for E.T. E.T. says she's going to keep it cute because it's her day. Nah says she don't have a choice. That leg ain't legging. <laughs> Natalie gives them all a chance to speak before they toast. Sapphire thanks them for accepting her. Girl, you hijacked your way on the show. She says she hopes everyone learn to take accountability and if you can't stand on business, don't say it at all. See what I mean? Picking. Mariah starts making a face and Anna's trying to calm her down. Then Roly says of everybody she got into it with, she wishes everybody nothing but the best. E.T. says she's shy and she keeps to herself, but everyone has been welcoming and made her open up and she loves everybody. Scotty says the season was crazy, but everyone has their own personalities and it's bright. Sky thanks everyone for their love and respect and kindness. And here goes Suki. <sighs> she thanks everyone for having her and she says she had fun. She says she knows she's been a little crazy and all the girls laugh and say they all are. She says she doesn't have a lot of friends. She hangs around the same group of people. Now here she goes on Mariah. You just couldn't resist. You couldn't let this moment be positive, Miss Stand Up For People. You just couldn't enjoy the peace and zen and connectivity of the moment. Here she goes, talking about this issue. Didn't y'all fight it out? What more do you want, Suki? Damn, what else? Mariah says uh, she was being told that Suki wanted to fight her. And Roly, you know, her moment to get a moment, asked who, and Mariah says it was behind the scenes like most of the drama on this show is. I can't confirm or deny it, it wasn't on camera. And what did we say earlier? It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. So Mariah, 
this is where I fought you because you could have said it. You should have said it. They airing you out, air them out. I would have popped that bottle and let them bubbles flow. All the champagne secrets would have came out, honey. Mariah says she's not going to keep explaining herself. Now, Mariah, you don't have to explain yourself, but if you were going to say this, then say it. Don't protect nobody who's not protecting you. You see nobody stepping up and saying it was me. You should have aired that itch would have be out like an inflatable mattress. Mariah says she's not doing the toast because she don't F with him. Sapphire says, well, we don't F with you. Now, Anna, you do, so you should have said something. Suki says, why are you storming off? Uh, you a baddie, right? Because at this point, Mariah walks off. So confused on what a baddie is. These girls got y'all so gassed into thinking this is baddie behavior. In the wrong setting with the right girls, y'all would have got aired out in a different way. This is not bad. It should be behavior. It's not. Natalie says, um, where are you going, girl? We in Kingston. Well, then EP, get the situation under control. Instead of acting like a follower, then, Natalie. Damn. Jocelyn would never. <sighs> so Anna and Tasiki go get Mariah. And they come back and take a shot. And you know then they weren't going to do anything with Siki there. So they all simmered down. Sky says Mariah and Suki and Sapphire started to happen again. But it ended up with the girls having a shot together. Because Sapphire gave um, Mariah a glass. So then the girls head to Tabu. And I can't show a lot of this. Because it was breasts and ass everywhere <laughs> I mean this is Jamaica home of the dance hall the girls have their section so now um, we're getting into the confessionals the final confessionals I feel like they took a um, script from the end of the real house housewives series with this so I kind of like the ending confessionals DJ Sky says the experience the experience was great but emotional. Sky says now that it's coming to an end, she's sad and she's going to miss her girls from the house. Camila says her experience was fun and she made new friends and she's happy she and Natalie hashed it out. Scotty says her overall experience was growth and how to communicate and how to handle situations and she's grateful. Sapphire says her experience was amazing and only the strong survive and she would do it again. Girl, we know. Tasiki says her and her girls are there to stay. She wishes um, things would have started different with her and Natalie because she feels like they would have been best friends. She said she would give herself MVP because she gives positive energy and catch her outside. Anna says she loved the season and she's in rooms she's never been in. Biggie says uh, she said the tour is over. She only came in midway and she enjoyed being able to come in and get off her chest what she needed to. She says she don't care about what the other girls in the other house have to think about her or say as long as they respect her, period, Biggie. Big Dominicana. <laughs> E.T. says she loved the season and the experience, and she had fun. She said, fuck the material stuff, and she may be the underdog and may be less than, but she's actually more than they think. We wish you would have showed that part of you, E.T., instead of being a go-along to get along girl. Mariah said she learned a lot about herself and stood 10 toes and was tested and enjoyed spending time in house B. Now, Mariah, you could have left it there. All the extra was necessary. Roly said um, it's not bittersweet because she's basically been there, done that, and will have plenty more seasons to been there and done that. She says her favorite baddie is E.T., Suki says her and the coochie girls turned it up. She had a good time and she respects everyone. But her favorite baddie is Roly because they got in a paint together. And her least favorite is Mariah. 
She says Mariah isn't a baddie and her Tootsie Pat smells like a hen of lunch meat. Child, couldn't resist, could you, Suki? Natalie says that she's loving the vibes um, with the girls. And she's like, damn, this is it. She's going to miss everybody. And she's going to miss Roly the most because she's her favorite. And that her least favorite is Smiley. Um, she's glad with the beef that the beef with her and Camila was squashed. And that's kind of where we ended this baddies finale. Now, for my favorites on this season of baddies, my top three are Tasiki, Biggie, and Anna. My honorable mentions are Sky and Mariah. Drop in the comments and let me know who your favorites are. Confidants, always remember, if it's not causing you to elevate, baby, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink till we meet again. Ta-ta.